guys, and welcome back. Here we are, man, end of another week, Saturday. Time for a body recomposition check-in, man. That's right, guys. Um, this week is uh, one week after the epic birthday craziness. One week later. Uh, and feast that I went on um, last week. So if you guys watched last week's video, you'll know um, every year on my birthday, I do an annual just epic no holds barred cheat meal. Um, one, for my mental sanity, uh, and two, as an experiment to show you guys I made this for you! That um, if you happen to slip up on your diet, if you happen to just completely blow it out of the water one day, um, that that one day really can't hurt you as bad as you think it can. Uh, where it really does its damage is mentally, right? Um, and I think it helps to see other people go through that uh, just as a demonstration, man, that this uh, is not something that should cause you to, uh, one, feel guilty or uh, cause you to mess with your uh, mindset uh, and two you really can't do a lot um, to yourself physically uh, with one day of eating um, now last week if you saw uh, it, the scale read that I was like 12 pounds heavier from one day of epic eating Damn! right uh, and we established that that is not uh, a possibility uh, caloric wise right so uh, this week is an interesting week right um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the numbers here man um, as you can see 200.4 right uh, 200.4 uh, 12 pounds lost in one week uh, probably not right 200.4 is right around where I've been maintaining uh, over the last couple months right so honestly, uh, everything that was done last week, nullified, man. Gone, right? Uh, did I do anything special this week? Nah, man. Uh, no craziness, none of that kind of crap. Uh, ate like normal, had normal food, uh, did my normal thing, right? Uh, and as you can see, uh, all that weight just disappeared, man. Uh I'm vanished like a fart in the wind. Uh, and that's because the majority of the weight that you gain in one day is going to be water retention, right? Your body is going, oh my God, what the hell are you doing? What am I supposed to do with this food I, that we're not used to? Uh, the gut bacteria biome have an adverse reaction. They're not used to that food. They're not sure how to break it down. It causes your body to store a massive amount of water weight, right? So keep in mind, guys, if you fall off the bandwagon and have just an incredibly messed up day, the next day or the next two or three days, you may see uh, large numbers on the scale uh, those do not reflect true weight those reflect water weight as we can see here um, now uh, with that being said the true test of that right is uh, my buddy Amran. that's right I gotta bring my caveman buddy Amran out and see what that number really means I'll go ahead and pop him up 15.4 percent body fat so as you can see uh, we're basically back down to exactly where we were uh, pre birthday cheat meal right uh, we are back to the 200 range high 190s low 200s and then the 15 percentile low 15 percentile uh, body fat range so overall um, one day did absolutely nothing nothing absolutely nothing to me in the long term and the short term and, and all of that right so guys the moral of the story here is fall off the bandwagon you didn't have a great day maybe you just had a mental lapse or just an emotionally uh, tiring day and you just kind of fell off the wagon that is no excuse right you should not be feeling bad do not feel guilty do not let that derail you from your weight loss and fitness goals guys um, because it's not that big a deal uh, and furthermore uh, uh, as long as you catch it after that one day and you get back on that horse, you keep going, uh, I can't do anything to you. But if you let it turn into two, three, four, sometimes a week worth of days where you're just bad, uh, that can do damage to you. And you do not want that. So uh, again, like I said, man, uh, awesome, awesome experiment this year as it was last year. Uh, I look forward to next year, obviously. Uh, but uh, this video probably will not happen over the next couple weeks, right? Instead, there'll be a Saturday video much more like uh, advisory and, and maintenance right 
Um, and the reason for that is because uh, I have been lean bulking now over the last couple months and uh, it's time to cut again, right? Uh, so I wanna get back down to that 190 number. I wanna see where we're at, right? I'm already leaner at the 200 than I was at the 190. Um, so that's awesome, man. But we're going to continue to do this lean bulk and cut cycle, trying to get rid of some of that excess fat that just happens to hold uh, in this loose skin. So in any case, guys, um, I will be cutting probably until I hit that 190 mark or until Thanksgiving, whichever one comes first. And uh, once I hit that mark, we'll have another body recomp video. Until then, it'll be motivation advisory. So uh, leave your comments, guys. Ask the questions you want answered, man, and I'll do my best to make a video about that. In any case, guys, like and subscribe. Leave me some comments, man. Let me know what's going on with you guys. And as always, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you later.